We know now more than ever the importance of emotional and mental well-being on an individual's overall health. And so those sort of internal and external demands that allow us to make it through our sort of day-to-day, -day, hours, days, weeks, months, and years, our moment-to-moment -moment sort of experience. Of self-actualization, um, so that you can be creative, as creative as you want to be. When we are trying to take care of oneself, that we think systemically. And when we are taking care of all the systems, we are able to grow as a community. Our mental health affects the way we think and the way we feel and act. And the more intact our mental health is, the more likely we can navigate our stressors. We all, every day, have varying levels of stress. Um, we can feel overwhelmed. Uh, things arrive in our lives that are challenging. Of course, maintaining our mental health is so important right now while we're faced with many vulnerabilities and challenges. Taking care of yourself and putting your, knowing that it's okay to put yourself before others. That we can ha improve our mental health through um, making sure that we're attending to the things that we can control by thinking about how we frame things, our thoughts, our beliefs, and whether those are positive or maybe more pessimistic. You know, having a mental health um, counselor is kind of like having a primary care physician or a dentist. Your mental health is a whole nother asset of your mental health that needs a lot of nurturing and maintenance. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, then you can't help other people. And the recent COVID pandemic has really shown us how much of an impact things like isolation, uh, disconnection from our social systems, from our institutions has. It allows others that might not be ready to talk about something um, to know that there are people out there that are able to do so and it can bring a sense of community around the topics. We need to talk about it because it's important in helping us to reach our greatest potential and what we can do. We've come a long way in the last 20, 25 years in decreasing the stigma of seeking assistance and support for mental health concerns. Um, I think we still have some ways to go. When you don't talk about anything um, and you let it sit and you let it fester, it gets worse. It doesn't make it any better, squ squashing things down. Through community and building community around our mental health, it really provides us all an opportunity to connect and grow um, from these moments together and in, in, in our beingness and our coming together as, as supports. And I think it's, it's okay to talk about because it's okay to reach out and ask for help. So mental health awareness, while it's been important for a very long time, I think it is really on the, on the front burner now because we recognize how important that connectedness is to an individual's health. It's important to talk about mental health because over the years it has a stigma and people don't talk about mental health. And now more than ever, we need to be talking about mental health. I think the first thing I would say is you're not alone. Asking for help um, is the most important. To talk about it, to reach out to a friend or a family member or someone who you're comfortable talking to, a mental health professional. For me, when I feel frustrated or overwhelmed, which seems to be most days lately, I do something opposite to the way that I'm feeling or what my thought process may be. Reach out. Just make a call. Just make one step towards taking care of yourself. Having community helps us kind of get through our day-to-day -day struggles. Um, and our connections, accessing resources, and being able to shed light in some of our darkest of moments can be really helpful. Would be, even if you don't think it's important to talk about it, it is very important to 
find some way to get it out, whether it's writing about it, talking to a close friend, seeking professional help, just talk about it to somebody, anybody that you can feel you have a trusting connection with. Also just taking time to make sure that we're caring for ourselves so that we can recharge our mental and psychological batteries to stay mindful as much as possible. You're not alone. There are people that care about you, that want to see you get better, want to see you succeed and do all the things in life that you want to do. So if you have any sorts of natural support that you can reach out to, family, friends, loved ones that you might be able to talk to, I would start there. But don't be afraid to ask for more professional help if you feel that that's something you need. It's there, it's available, and it's ready to help you. You have here and now, right now, to start the process of change for yourself. Um, as the saying goes, we uh, kind of go through life sometimes talking about it being a roller coaster with its ups and downs. And, and um, you know, by building community and having access to a community, uh, we at least don't have to go on that ride alone. We can do it together. We're all in this together, I believe very strongly in the community. I really hope everyone is staying healthy and happy and safe. And I wish everyone who is working in the mental health field a very happy World Mental Health Day. So we wish everyone great emotional health and resources are available to anyone that may have that need.